wish I can be a ballerina. Hello friends, and welcome to another episode of Color Their World. Did you know being a ballerina takes a lot of hard work and dedication? In today's book, we read of a young black girl who became America's first principal dancer and how she inspired two sisters to follow their love of dance. So sit back, grab a snack, and let's read of Misty Copeland. Misty Copeland Ballet Star by Sarah Howden, pictures by Nick Crane. Ruby bounced in her seat. Then she got up and did a twirl, just like Misty Copeland would do. She was so excited this day had finally come. You're such a show-off, says Ruby's sister Jasmine. Try to get along, girls, Mama said. Ruby was too happy to mind Jasmine's teasing. This was the best Christmas present she had ever gotten. Ruby had been taking ballet lessons for three years now. Ruby had Misty Copeland's poster on her wall, but she had never seen a real live ballet. Now, Ruby was at the Nutcracker. It starred Misty Copeland as the Sugar Plum Fairy. Ruby tapped Jasmine on the shoulder. Did you know Misty only started dancing when she was 13? Ruby asked. That's old. Well, it's not exactly old, Mama said with a chuckle. But most ballet dancers start when they're three or four. So Misty had to learn a lot really fast, said Ruby. Plus, her family didn't have the money for lessons. But Misty was so good that her teacher taught her for free. Really? said Jasmine. She'd even drive Misty home when she needed a ride, said Ruby. Misty didn't have it easy, Mama said. People told her that her body was wrong for ballet. That's because she was so strong, Ruby said. She flexed her muscles. But Misty proved them wrong. Mama nodded. Now she's the first African-American principal dancer in the American Ballet Theater. That means star dancer, Ruby whispered. Jasmine raised her eyebrows. I knew that, she said. But Ruby knew she was impressed. Jasmine had quit ballet years ago. Ruby didn't understand that at all. Just then, the lights dimmed, the curtains opened. The ballet was starting. Soon, Misty would appear. The stage looked like a bright fairy tale world. The dancers were like dolls. Ruby loved to watch them twirl and glide. Then, Misty danced onto the stage. Misty floated along on her toes. She leaped as if she could fly. She's just like a fairy, Ruby said. The crowd clapped and cheered when Misty danced. One day, I could be up there, Ruby told herself. A dancer lifted Misty high into the air and the crowd gasped. She was so graceful like a swan. When the show ended, the crowd was on its feet. Ruby clapped as loud as she could. She cheered the most for Misty. Ruby was sad it was over. Let's go get a milkshake, Mama said. Misty was great, Ruby said. She was, said Jasmine. Ruby blinked. Had Jasmine agreed with her? It must have been hard being the only black person in her class, said Jasmine. I'm sure it was, said Mama. But now... She has opened the doors for many more people of color, Mama said. Like me, Ruby said. Jasmine was quiet. Then she said, Mama, can I start taking ballet again? Mama smiled wildly. Absolutely, she said. If Misty can do it, so can you. Misty Copeland broke a lot of barriers and allowed little black girls all around the world to see themselves in her. 
and tell themselves that if Misty can do it, so can I. Thank you so much for joining me today for another episode of Color Their World. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Now, if you'll excuse me.